What's going on today, guys? Torn for Life here. Now, if many of you guys have been exploring the Dreadnought, you will see that there are chests. There are some that are locked, and there are some that aren't. The ones that are locked require some weird key to get. Now, I'm going to show you how to get through those. First, you want to go into the Hall of Souls and go to the Court of Oryx, which is the new public event of Destiny. These are actually self-triggered if you have reciprocal runes. You get them from completing the quest, I believe. They drop through doing quests from Eris, I know. Anyways, you present your rune. There are actually three tiers to it. There's one tier for the reciprocal rune, there's a stolen rune, and then there's another one that we have to get wait for the raid to get. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to spark these public events with your own reciprocal rune and complete it. That's all there is to it. It works like any other public event. you got a timer, a small objective. There might be a little bit of a challenge towards it. Complete it, and you're good to go. Now, these guys will drop. What you're after is a Worm Singer rune. That will allow you to get a Worm Feeder rune and ultimately a key of something. Now, in order to get the reciprocal runes to even begin this, they drop it as uh, Eris quest items, and if you have rank five in for your Eris reputation, you can actually go back to the tower, and you can actually purchase them from her. You need uh, ten black wax idols, and let me collect my reward real quick for ranking that up. As you see, I got some for ranking. Her reputation up but you can also buy the on the bottom right you can buy reciprocal runes and stolen runes there you go now might be best to grab a couple of the uh, reciprocal runes just to take in there in case you don't have any and once you do that you can go through and try to farm your worm singer now if you don't there's another way about going and doing it. it's a lazier way it is spawning the big ogre now if you do have a worm singer and that's where you would place it to spawn this guy but if you're lucky some people will have spawned him for you if you're in a heavy populated patrol a big giant ogre will spawn it follows like three drop-offs of like hive kill him you'll get a worm feed rune now it will prompt you to get 50 kills of dreadnought enemies or some crap like that anyways once you do that you will come to the back this back room for me I got I I'm sorry I should probably say I got the key of ear or something like that I don't know there are the chest locations are spread throughout for me after complete getting my worm singer worm feeder and getting my kills i unlocked the it's not this one I unlock the key of, yeah, it's like ear or whatever, and you don't get anything special, but there you go. If you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Hopefully this was helpful to you in some way, and enjoy.